Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the legendary run here on Borderlands the pre-sequel. Uh, this is a true Vault Hunter mode legendary run, if you want to go and watch the normal legendary run, uh, I have got a playlist for that, uh, for those of you that may not know what it is, probably be good to start from the beginning. Uh, so yeah, anyway, we are back and uh, we had quite a productive episode last episode, uh, right at the end where we managed to get the Quasar from Felicity Rampant, uh, which is right here. We also got a legendary class mod for Amnesia um, just before that, on like the 13th run, something like that. And uh, then it got interesting because I found a unkept Harold in the vending machine. Could no way near afford to buy it. Um, but in the end, we ended up opening a load of golden chests and uh, we managed to get it but look apart from the white weapons we have got nothing in our inventory at all because we sold everything uh, so we need more legendaries but luckily we are on the uh, we are on the series today that does it um moxie's toy box no such thing as a free launch uh wiping the slate oh all boring 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 missions um that's not too bad actually let's start off with that um, today we've got a couple of things we can be doing, but um, mainly we can, if we have to, we can do the two arms mission as well because um, that obviously gives us a legendary at the end of it. And I've got quite a few white weapons right now, a lot of them in the bank, uh, some in my inventory. And uh, but the good thing about selling all of my wep my legendaries is now we can start picking up other weapons again and selling them and making ourselves some money uh, just in case that ever happens again where we need a uh, we need <laughs> to buy a legendary and we've got no money i hope we don't find one today in a vending machine because i well i'm broke flat out broke now but uh, we'll soon get it back i could do a good farming session if i need to and uh, open up a load of chests and sell uh, a load of weapons but that's boring, so we may as well just uh, keep farming bosses, picking up loot, stuff like that. And uh, we should be good. So, we are halfway there. We've got to go over there. Um, we'll try and find uh, a mission for legendaries today. But if we don't, then uh, like I said, we can go and try and do the two arms mission. Uh, we should be able to do a good amount of that. But let's clear up uh, these side missions. Go and do that Merith office one. And then uh, we can... Ah, and then we can uh, hopefully hand in the main story mission and get some more side missions to pick up. Uh, I think there is a Nurse Nina side mission to pick up as well. That might be one for a legendary. I'm not sure how many of them I've done. Right, guys. Let's have you all killed, please. Thank you. Um, boom. 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 Thank you. Uh, get you all down, and then hopefully, no one's dropping any weapons for me. <coughs> they don't have to be good, they can be white, that will help me out no end, but still, please drop some weapons, soon. Stop flying around as well, or I will freeze you. Well, I'll freeze you anyway, but... Every enemy slamming me, stop it! I hate being slammed. Right, I need to get a drink. Mm. God, I've got severe dehydration, it feels, today. It's, it's my own fault. Uh, alcohol was consumed last night, and uh, I'm, I'm not suffering for it today. I don't really actually get hangovers, which is a real good thing. But I do feel like I could have drunk a bit more water yesterday before drinking, after drinking, during drinking. To save my uh, my poor mouth from the Sahara-like conditions it seems to be suffering right now. So uh, plenty of tea to be consumed. That probably isn't a good thing either because tea doesn't exactly hydrate you. In fact, I think it does the opposite. But hey, it's damn good to uh, to drink. I feel like I spend a lot of episodes just mentioning or talking about drinking tea. Typical Englishman, I know. Right. 
Oi! Don't punch me. Yeah, there is a chest over here, actually. Let's go get that quickly. We've got an, no, that's not how you get that chest, you idiot. Uh, should we try that one again? I am in the right spot, aren't I? Yes. Let's try this one again. Okay. Okay. Can we get on there? You see, I don't normally suffer. It's not just... Oh, there's a chest up there, though. Oh, purple. Exploding Sapper class mod. It's going straight into the, uh, the vending machine. Fund. They know there's a legendary in a vendor, but I can't afford it. Fund. Every little helps. More white weapons. That's good. Thank you very much. Right. There is a stray guy down here somewhere. There you are. Get back, sucker. Find flow regulator. Actually, we'll pop a few of these open. Since as as we'd have to faff around picking them up, they just pop out. This absolute uh, zero does use a lot of ammo. It's nice to have this back, actually. We didn't use this much last episode against Felicity. Uh, we mainly flacked the whole world, which uh, it's nice to go back to the flacker now and again. Open up, please. Down you go. Thank you. Right. <coughs> Sorry, I'll have to keep clearing my voice here because, like I said, bit of a rough, bit of a roughish night. Right, there is a couple of chests here as well. There's a big red doll chest, I know that, and then there's one underneath, like a little secret chest, uh, which is actually down there. Yeah, it's there, look. Just have to go and pick that up. Uh, yeah. Good night. Uh, but I'm not sure exactly what weapon we can go for today. It's been many, 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 many moons, uh, well, say since I played this series, but uh, before maybe an episode or two ago, uh, obviously we had a three or four month break from many of my series so we could do modded weapon guides. Um, so you do kind of forget what you have done and what you haven't done after that three months so I do have to start getting back into it I don't think we're too far into the mission I don't think we've uh, see the nurse Menina one might actually be no no we have got I was going to say we, we got that far into the uh, story but we have got pretty far we must have done rough love things like that um, where the hell am I going stop talking and actually I haven't even opened that chest ever no I haven't what an idiot! Uh, we must have got the Fatali mission anyway, um, so I'm not sure just how much further we need to actually go. Um, is this a quit and come back in kind of thing? Where am I now? That's, oh god yeah, it's right next to spawn. Plus I can sell some weapons that I've picked up. I can't sell all though, I've got to remember that. Definitely can't sell all because that will get rid of a lot of my white weapons. So for the minute... I just need to do anything that's not white. Well, white weapons anyway. No, oh, see, I've sold my flacker. How much money have we got now? See, we're already back up to 500k. That Harold was only 1.3 million, wasn't it? thing is something like a rocket launcher comes up something like the bada boom you're, you're talking a couple of mil so uh, the more we get the better really oh, I hate this blooming mission it's just a lot of standing around doing nothing pay for the talk thank you try to save money but ten dollars now let the grand tour begin I just want you to open these curtains so I can, well, there's a chest actually, isn't there? Um, cool, don't care, open your building up. Why can't I get on top of there? There we go. Well, that was disappointing, I thought there was at least an ammo crate or something up here. On his head, on his head, on his head, boink. Come on then, let's do this. Oh, you can't actually see underneath it. Chest. 
I don't care. It's trash. What kind of museum is this? There we go. Now we're on par. Thank you. I just want to steal that, please. I don't want to know about it. When you've got to at least speed things up by walking quicker. I'm so impatient. Oh, God, we've got the blooming Merif mission to do as well. That's even more boring. Well, actually, at least you get to fight a few people, I think, and kill a few people, but ugh. Yes, that is. Yoink. Nope. And now you will die. Let's cr yeah, should we cryophobia him? Good night. Done. Right, we've got to find the gyroscope now. I don't even know if you have to kill him, to be honest. He didn't look like he was coming at me then, but hey, I'm a git. Two arms is here. Hopefully, gonna try and find something else. Right, where is this gyroscope? Let's have a look in here. No legendary. Oh god, may as well look, check that. Nothing. Right. Yoink. Stingray. Off we go. Yes. Clear the lava. That oh, feels good to be back on the stingray. Feels like it's been forever. I don't play much pre-sequel anymore, apart from these legendary runs. I need to get back into it. Dad, Obviously, pre-sequel isn't liked by as many people as Borderlands 2, though, so uh, I don't really get many complaints that I don't play pre-sequel much anymore. But, oh, I forgot about me Harold. Oh, now we, we know what we're using for this, for the rest of the episode, then. How could I forget about that? I sold everything I own nearly to get this. Are you downstairs? Yes, you are. Nice. Nice little scope on it as well, actually. Fast fire rate. Soon go through a lot of ammo with this, though. You will put down your. Oh, oh they're not barrels. <laughs> Just saw them and thought, sod it, shoot the barrels, but no, they're not. Grenade's gonna go off in a sec. Don't shoot me. Nice, right. Found the gyroscope, it's in here, isn't it? Yes. Uh, don't get stuck. I think that's gonna come open, actually. Oh no, I've got to press it. Duh. Yoink. Thank you. Where do we go now? Take parts to Cosmo. Slam. Oh, he moved. Go away, Loon Stalker. I will kill you again. Unlucky. Right, let's do this. Take parts to Cosmo. Let's get a nice big launch over here then. Yoink. Ah, uh, there, we made it. No, you're not. Uh, oh, Cosmo's up. Why did... Oh, I was thinking of someone else. Is it worth killing these guys? No, 3 XP. It's definitely not worth it. 
Why didn't I supercharge it? Right. Try that again. There we go. Getting back into this slowly. I keep forgetting about a few things. One thing I'm not going to forget about is that there is a big chest. Well, there's two chests actually, one on either side. So we'll go for the first one now and hope I don't fall off. Big red doll chest. Give me something good. Whatever we get, we're taking everything anyway. Right, jump on here. Please make it, please make it, yeah. Just, wow, that was close. Here we go, Cosmo. Most wonderful. Excelsior is now almost ready to launch. One task remains. Now we need to hurry up here. This mission's taking quite a while. We need to get going and prep for our next legendary. If not, we'll be doing two arms. I think I might go to Concordia and see Nurse Nina. Um, I hope she's got one of the missions for me. I know I've done a bunch of ice holes, but have I done rough love? Let me check that quickly. Uh, that is not your mission list, you idiot. That is badass rank. Um, oh no, I might not have done rough love. I don't know. No, it doesn't look like I have. That might be the one then. So that's uh, Fatali, isn't it, I believe. Oh, I've got to kill the energised... Sugar, stab it. Uh, they're on the other side. Are they? Where are they? Oh, have I waited too long? It still says they're down here. Oh, where are you? Maybe they're on the other side. No, it definitely says they're in there. Let me up. I have no idea. Well, let's go back up and see if we can find them. That was my fault for chatting while not concentrating. Hopefully we can find them. If not, we'll have to come back, quit out and come back in. Try that one again. You've got no health at all, have you? That was really bad aiming. Where are these damn sugar roofs? I can't find them. Oh, the bloody there. Down you go. Pass it to Sugar. That's all it was, just one guy. Right, concentrate now. Stop being a git. Return to control room. I'm in the control room. <laughs> Lunch. Nice. Rocket man. Fly, baby, fly. Is there anything else in this room? Oh, there is little lockers. Something to distract me for a second. Shield to sell. See, it looks really small, but when you walk up to it, oh, then again, I am a claptrap. But still, when you walk up to him, it's like, nope, he's the exact same height as you. <laughs> Can I look through that? Nope. Let me look through it. One thing I've noticed in the pre-sequel, more than Borderlands 2, apart from things like Claptrap's birthday bash, there's a flipping hell of a lot of waiting round, um, and it does bore the crap out of me. I know I keep going on about <laughs> that this episode. That is a nice uh, launcher, vault thrower. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of 
bloody waiting around and it does get really annoying when you're trying to get on with things. Kaboom! I thought I didn't think I'd done that right then, but yes I have. Ow. Ow. That one didn't hit me though. Okay. Uh, right, to Concordia quickly then. Let's see if we can get Rough Love. If it is Rough Love Mission. Please be the Rough Love. Uh, rough Love. Can't speak properly. Well, I never can anyway. Um, the Rough Love Mission. And then we can do that quickly. Well, just going to tip my cup over. Thanks, you for that. Um, Nina. Please be nice and give me rough love. I have a legendary to get today. Yes. Here we go then. Um, I think I've got to actually pick something up off her, so I'm not going to run too far. Let's star the flacker up. <coughs> Need to star the Harold up as well, actually. Sorry, the Fragnum, as it's called now. Um, no, why is that auto equipped? We don't want that. Um, back to the flacker. Right. Pick up gifts. Find suitor number one. He is in uh, Triton Flats. Just going to check that very quickly. I don't know why, because I can't afford much at the minute anyway, but. Let's go for it. Right, we've got to be quick here. Uh, if we're going to get a few good farms of this guy in. Or he might drop it first time for us, which... Uh, fingers crossed, hopefully he does. But if not, we'll just keep going. Quite like farming... Um, quite like farming for the, uh, for, for the Fatale anyway. It's not a bad farm at all, so... Uh, you know, Drongo Bone's in a bad runaway, so it should be alright. Better than Felicity farming. Much better than Felicity Farming. Suitor number one. Hello. Now if I put the patch on actually. Um, I think it's that patch. I believe he does drop his own legendary but I can't remember. Nice. No loot. <laughs> Don't forget garden flowers. Take that gift. Uh, suitor number two is Drongo Bones then. Let's go back to the fast travel get him to Outlands Canyon and get him killed and then suit number three is a bit further up Outlands Canyon as well I think so we can go do that hand it in and then time to farm for a Fatale which means we might retire the uh, the absolute zero or maybe the flacker once we get that Drongo quick Oh, there's a side mission to pick up in here as well. <coughs> Depending on how long it takes me. If we can get the uh, fatality to drop quite quickly, I might have to run around and just pick a shitload of side missions up because they're scattered about everywhere. And um, it's always good to just have them there when you need to. Right, he's there. He, looks powerful. <coughs> he is. Well, he's big. He's not powerful. In fact, he's one of the easiest bosses to actually kill. Oh, that was some uh, some good loot there. Go on, um. Time to die. That's nice and easy. I don't know where his loot went, or if he dropped any. But no fatality, it looks like. Oh, I 
someone like you. Yes. No, you don't. No, neither keep same plan. Fights you to number three. Don't forget garden flowers. Too much money. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, I'm not messing around. We need to get on. Go, 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 go. Run like the wind. Run. Uh, I think I need to, yeah, I need to be around here actually. I should have gone to that carport to be honest, but it's only around the corner. That did not work at all. That one might. Run. Um, can we just, I'm not sure actually, I was going to say, can we just get up there very quickly, but I think you've got to climb up onto that bridge. Let's just do it. Run, 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 run. Parkour skills need to be on point here. And they are not too bad. And then I run into a pipe. Right, we're nearly there. And we're about 26 minute mark, so we should be able to get a couple of farms in without going over too long. Maybe should have started this a bit quicker than I did though, but that stupid launch mission was... Uh, took, it, took its time actually. I'm on half the episode gone. See his hands? Strong! Good! Give gifts! I know gifts, there you go. I don't think I've got anything with fire. Okay. Oh great. Come on. Oh actually you don't kill him do you? She feels sorry for him in the end. So I just did all that for nothing. Thanks, Nina. Deadly, strong, and just the right amount of psycho. I just had to know you were serious, and nothing says commitment like an attempted assassination. You come to Nina, she fix you. <laughs> I'll be there. Do not know what you're getting yourself into, dude. Right. Um, let's quit out, come back in. Actually, no, hand the mission in, and then it's farming time. Finally, something that I enjoy, rather than standing around listening to NPCs talking. Right. Outlands. No, Rough Love. Yes. Thank God I'm not doing the Merith mission this episode. I'll have to do that at the start of next episode. Good touch, bad touch. Don't matter either way, but right, guys, it's time to go and get ourselves a fatale. Finally, let's hope this doesn't take too long. Um, Outlands Canyon, if it does take too long and we go over, um, then of course it's usual legendary run rules. I'd keep farming till we get the fatale and bring you it in the very next run. But I think we could get. Oh, how many runs? Should we say four? F yeah, we should easily be able to get four or five runs of this guy before uh, <coughs> having to quit out. Obviously, I don't spend the whole episode so far in. That would be boring, but I do try and cut you guys into at least three or four runs of a boss. Sometimes more, if, you, if all is going well, or it's a fast farm. But the good thing is... We can pick up any weapons that he drops and sell them for some money. Right, that technically was the second run of him then. Oh, God. I'm going to fall asleep in a minute if I don't stand up. Please drop it for me quick so I can go get some fresh air. I don't think he's too bothered about that though. It's not on his list of priorities to help me out. Damn, Drongo Bones. Right, jump straight at me. Good man. 
I'll just jump over there. But either way, what flew out? Something flew out, but I don't think it was the uh, the legendary itself. We'll pick that up though. Is there any trouble with some loot sometimes? It flies out that flipping quickly, you can't see where it's gone. Right, let's do this. That was run number three, wasn't it? So we should be able to... Should easily be able to get another three runs in. Yeah, why not? Screw it. Oh, some... I don't know what went wrong then, but I couldn't couldn't land properly. Oh, you don't want to jump over to me now. You haven't even seen me, have you? Right, watch his loot. Nothing at all really came out then, just a bit of money which flew up into the air. Could have at least given me a little little weapon or something. No. Nope. Well, we'll just have to come back and kick your ass again. What level am I right now? Am I in the 47 mark? Yes, I am. Oh, actually, let's see how much uh, XP this guy gives us because we could nearly get up to level 48 if we carry on farming for a while. Nearly. Being the key word here. Oh, you're staying over there again. That's a better way to see if his loot uh, falls out. Get him out of the way. Nope. Right, five runs down. Let's say... Three more. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Three more. Definitely. And then uh, if we don't get it, then uh, I'll obviously cut you guys in when I do get it. But I think we can get three more runs in pretty quickly here. Really don't take long at all. It'd be nice to have a Fatali to go with my newly acquired Fragnum. Obviously for the tougher bosses, if you get them iced up. Uh, explosive damage does times three, I think. Times three on enemies that are frozen. So that'll be... Well, it'll just make things a hell of a lot easier for us if we ever get into tough fights. Um, is that money there or did it drop? No, it's money. Sometimes I mistake the yellow for orange. Especially in light, light conditions like that. Right, that's one run down. Run number six there. Let's do run number seven. So I kill him with the cryophobia. We'll give it a go. I wouldn't really use this thing much and it's nice to use your weapons that you don't wouldn't normally carry just because you've got them. Yeah, I did it again. It must be when the, uh, the map loads in slightly. I tried to tried to slam then and it wouldn't have any none of it. Huh. Unlucky son. Maybe not a good idea shooting him there in case his loot flew out, which I don't think it did. And I can't see it, but... Right, seven runs down, run number eight, and then if we don't get it, it's uh, my turn to sit here farming away by myself. Oh, I forgot to check the XP. It didn't look like it went up too much, though. So we are... Just slightly above that bar, I'd probably say about 10 percent, 10%, no, maybe 15 percent, something like that, I don't know. Not... Mid-air, caught. I thought I could slam it out of him. Uh, yeah, that XP is pants. Absolutely pants. Anyway guys, that is it for now. Uh, like I said, it's my time to uh, to farm now. So, that was eight runs done with no success. 
next one you guys will see will be the uh, the Fatali drop so I'll see you guys for that right we are back which means we got our legendary drop and it was the Fatali of course which is what we was after and uh, this one didn't take too long actually it's not a bad run anyway it's uh, only you know 20 30 seconds to get there if that so uh, we can do quite a few amounts of them farms without getting uh, too much yeah you know time involved invested in this farm uh, but this was 16 runs later sorry 16 runs in total um, so uh, yeah we just went straight in for it I like to try and catch him in midair right there give him a little punch before uh, actually killing him and as you can see quite a lot of loot dropped out including the uh, the fatality itself so uh, there it is I love this uh, Weapon it is uh, one of my favourites in the game, as a lot of other people. Not just because of the uh, the cryo chance, but the fact that it is a hip fire machine. Absolutely steady as hell when you're firing at people. So uh, yeah, it just does quite a lot of damage as well for an SMG. Fast fire rate, all of that malark. Uh, so yeah, very happy, and this one will be quite a good uh, addition to our roster for the coming events. Uh, I think. Uh, maybe this is quite a low level compared to what I am at but uh, again it will still serve us pretty well uh, and there you go that is the Fatale which of course is um, a pre-sequels version of the bitch so uh, yeah there you go guys that is our legendary drop on true vault under mode legendary run for the pre-sequel part 14 the Fatale so join me for future episodes where we'll carry on getting as many legendaries as we can stocking back up again as I've lost all my legendaries from the previous episode having to sell everything to get the uh, the Fragnum but uh, yeah the Fragnum and Fatali in two episodes that's quite a good addition for uh, future runs anyway thank you guys for watching really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one